A spokesman for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the DPRK answered questions raised by the Korean Central News Agency on the 29th of February as regards the DPRK-US high-level talks. The spokesman said the third high-level talks were held between the DPRK and the United States of America in China on the 23rd and the 24th, and continued. The recent talks, a continuation of the two high-level talks held in July and October 2011, sincerely and profoundly discussed some measures of building confidence to improve the DPRK-US relations and issues on ensuring peace and stability of the Korean Peninsula and resuming the six-party talks. The DPRK and the United States confirmed their will again to implement the September 19th joint statement and admitted that the armistice agreement is the cornerstone for peace and stability of the Korean Peninsula before a peace treaty is concluded. The United States reassured that it will no longer antagonize the DPRK and is ready to improve bilateral relations in the spirit of respect of sovereignty and equality and expressed its will to take measures to expand human exchanges in the cultural, educational, sports and different other fields. The United States promised to offer 240,000 tons of nutritive foods to the DPRK and make efforts to realize additional food aids. Both sides agreed on immediately taking administrative and practical measures for the purpose and made clear that the sanctions against the DPRK shall not be aimed at civilian affairs, including the people's living. If the six-party talks are resumed, the issues on lifting sanctions against the DPRK and providing light water reactors to it will be preferentially discussed. Both sides confirm that it accords with their interests to ensure peace and stability of the Korean Peninsula, improve the DPRK-US relations and realize denuclearization through dialogue and negotiations, and agreed on continuing talks. At the request of the United States, we agreed on suspending nuclear tests, long-distance missile launch and uranium enrichment in Yongbyon and allowing the International Atomic Energy Agency to watch the moratorium on the uranium enrichment during the period of fruitful talks so as to keep a positive atmosphere for the DPRK-US high-level talks, the spokesman said.